Okay, when it comes to math, there's a lot of things you can do and you should do to get better at it fast. But what I'm going to reveal in this uh, video is three pretty simple direct things that you can start doing immediately that will start having um, pretty significant results in terms of your ability to um, to do math. And what I mean uh, to quote unquote do math means, uh, you know, if you're taking a math course that you should start, you know, seeing immediate improvement in your, your uh, scores, grades, et cetera. But it's an ongoing process and it's not like you just do these things and you're done. You really do have to kind of, um, you know, keep these things going and there are some other things as well, but these uh, three particular things are very uh, uh, simple by, and have a real big punch to them. So let's get right to it. And the first thing is to take great notes. This is probably one of the most single most important things that you can do to uh, start getting better uh, at uh, math. Now, the thing about great notes is this. One, it's going to help you focus when you're actually learning the material. See, you can't learn math by just watching it. Like, so if you're watching a video, you're watching a teacher do math, that's, you, you think that you're, like mentally, you might be like, oh, I understand what's going on, but you, you're not doing anything to help your retention and comprehension. And also, too, you can easily drift away your focus. You can, you know, start daydreaming, and then you you're, then you kind of get back to what the teacher's doing, and you're, and uh, then you kind of forget what steps they're in, etc. Taking notes uh, allows you to focus, but it's also going to really, really boost your retention. Okay, I, I can't tell you that uh, when it comes to note taking, I, I I'm just going to just make up a number here. I'm going to say like 99% correlation of students that have gotten A's in all my co courses have had great outstanding notes. And I'm 99%, it might be 97, 98%. But it's a very high percentage, okay? Matter of fact, I can only probably think of very few exceptions of students that, that uh, you know, did very well who didn't have like, let's say, exceptional notes, but they still took notes, okay? But... By far, um, note-taking has a significant impact on um, doing well in math. So look at your notes, okay? You should just be like, well, can you read your own notes? <laughs> Would you lend your notes to somebody who says, hey, can you give me your notes? I was absent all last week. Could they learn from your notes? See, if your, your notes aren't of that quality, then you need to work on note-taking. It's actually a skill, okay? So... Great notes basically should pretty much kind of look like what the teacher is writing, okay? So you need to to um, develop this skill over time. And there's a lot of ways you can kind of do it. I would suggest that if you're not great at note-taking, try to, um, you know, um, associate or befriend somebody that is, is good and has good notes. Look how they take notes and just work on this skill, okay? Um, so if you get anything from this video, uh, this is the one, probably the most uh, important, okay? Note taking. All right, let's move on to our second thing. And that is ask more questions. Now this seems like obvious, okay? But if you're um, uh, not doing well in math and there is a teacher in front of you, or if you have a teacher you know, uh, online, it doesn't make a difference, ask questions. Do not be afraid to, to raise your hand or, or to, to kind of call over your teacher or email your teacher or to reach out to your teacher. Um, you got to remember, a teacher with the class full of students, they got a lot of, you know, they're, uh, a lot of uh, things going on, okay? Let's say there's 30 students here. If you're not reaching out for that teacher's attention, you're not going to get their attention, Right, unless you're absolutely failing, and if that's the case, they might give you some quick, you know, uh, guidance you know, on what you need to do not to fail. But they're not going to force you to get extra help. They're not going to really sit down. Some teachers will, and they'll kind of try their best, but there's only a limited amount of time. Now, when I was teaching in classrooms, you know, there was those students that raised their hands, raised their hand, and, and you know, you're, it's like. You're not going to ignore a student that raises their hands. Now, if they raise their hands constantly, then you might have a little conversation with them that's, you know, it's a little bit <laughs> too much. But 
you know, uh, it's that old saying, uh, the squeaky wheel gets the grease, okay? The student that's asked the question is going to get more personalized instruction from the teacher. But what a lot of students do is they just fail to ask for help. So if you want to get better, you need to ask for help. And the number one person you need to ask for help from is your teacher. You need to start there. Okay, so ask more questions. All right, let's get to our last thing here. And that is master one problem. I have problems here, but it's actually one problem at a time. Okay, so master one problem at a time. So what am I talking about there? Well, let's suppose you have a homework assignment or whatever, and there's like uh, 10 questions. Okay, and it's on one particular topic. The key that's going to, the thing that's going to make you better in math is not uh, quantity so much. Quantity, in other words, um, if I do a thousand problems, I'll get really, really good. Well, yeah, not maybe, okay? <laughs> but if you're doing the thousand problems in, uh, wrong, you're just going to get, you know, you're going to get really bad because you're going to be reinforcing um, a bad, you know, a bad comprehension, right? Or, or bad skill set. So the key is take the first problem and anything you're learning and, and really just focus on that. And you want to focus and go as slow as you need to go to just understand that one problem, like fully master it. Okay. Like, wow. Okay. I got this down. I fully understand it. Now, why is this going to make, I'm telling you to go slow, but th this video is about, you know, improving in math uh, faster. Well, when you slow things down, okay. And you focus, you'll actually start to understand. Okay. When you understand, truly understand it will make these rest of these problems go much quicker, and you'll obviously be able to um, not just go faster, but you'll be able to do them correctly, and that's the whole key. Yeah, you want to be faster in math. I could just say, you know, how to get uh, better. Well, how to get better at math fast. You know, you could, you know, uh, look at your friend's homework. Uh, you can sit next to someone very smart. I know, you know, it actually, that's actually a pretty good uh, suggestion right there. But that aside. Uh, getting better faster really does mean you have to kind of slow things down and get in control. Okay. So when you're studying a particular topic, slow things down, understand one problem at a time. And what ends up happening, even though that, let's say this particular problem took you, uh, let's say five minutes to do, and these other problems are similar, trust me, you're going to be able to do these other problems much quicker because you have that understanding. Okay. So if you're struggling in math, there's other things that obviously you can do. Um, I don't think there's like any one silver bullet thing that, hey, if you do this, you're going to get uh, instantly <clears throat> go from an F to an A in your math class. Um, you know, you have to be doing a, a lot of things right. However, um, I'll, I'll state this again. Probably the, the, the one thing that has, you know, a significant impact, maybe even more than the others, I think, is uh, the note taking. OK, so if you get anything, if you just get one thing from this video, really improve your notes. OK, that's a big, 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 big thing. OK, so hopefully you got something out of this video. Um, I try to do a ton of videos on uh, math, how to improve learning, etc. So if you like uh, this little video, please consider uh, subscribing to my channel. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you can update some of my latest uh, videos. And if you like this video, please give uh, it a thumbs up and comment. I do get a lot of comments on my videos, but I get uh, ideas on what kind of videos that you guys might be uh, looking uh, for me to make. So although I don't respond to as many comments as I like, um, I do try to um, read them, and I certainly appreciate your feedback. But with that being said, I do appreciate your time. I wish you all the best in your math class, and have a great day.